Shaw and Mars Negron, a Hassas Manishle, Mary Flaherty, Agus Marty Connolly. A Horfuban Shah is Reens Bunt the Aha in the Goonies and Tapon, because the Masuga more left all of Mach, Kent Hunter of Yaga Shin, at a dach. Rinya Mary Agus Marty Thurus, so Hion Wallana, Kakarni Nades, a sour in the Blian and Nidak Nechatsi, Agus Air Intenak of Art Belga Yanacht. Being Thurus Belgna Kriach Nakab nor a hitcher than Rawlish and Archa, in the Vetachet Fille, at a Nodor. Ha Mary Agus Marty Belgna Dem Lianus at Tapon, Agus Hugshed Nyart Inspirad at Oalelo. Honic Dara and Tea Wob Hain. Okay, so we'll go up to the upstairs. We'll just go through here. There's the Japanese room on the left. It feels like everything has a story here. Oh, for sure. Okay, this is the main bedroom. So this one has a good view oh, over the bay. Oh, God, look at that. You're right over the canopy. Yep. Yeah. That's the idea to be able to look out over the trees and see the water and the mountains. I don't think I'd want to leave my bed ever if I had that view. Well, it is a good, a good excuse. <laughs> we've, 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 we've often thought we might just camp out up here and stay up here forever. <laughs> Gorgeous. Agus Hugshit PC Thrusk on the Vibaliak of Harnam Lianta, a on Tapon. Suma a hook through a horse in a golf race in a shimmery colata. Agus Shoji earned a skier he stayed a squealing solace and lay a stach. What does it do for you to be beside the sea? Oh, it just gives you it's like nourishment. It's it really is like nourishment for the soul, for me mm. at least because there's an energy from it that is very unique, particularly our coast here, because I just think it's so uh, alive. Like, even on bad days, it's alive. Yeah, that's it. It's like a calling. It's like mm. um, a voice, almost. And it's like a song, I suppose. Yeah. And then there's just this constant change. The tide will be at a different spot, the wind will be a different way. You'll see an otter today, you'll see seals tomorrow. It's always changing. Yeah. And it kind of just reminds you of your place. You know, if you're going to the, the desk or the office and the light is the same because you've switched it on and the computer starts up, you get the delusion that things are stable and that, uh, you know, life is as I make it. When you're beside nature, especially beside the coastline, that's not so. It's it's constantly reminding you who's in charge, and the change is natural, normal, and continuous. And if it's dull or overcast here, and you're feeling that that heaviness, you just go and stand by yeah. the water, mm. and it immediately lifts you. There's there's that that sort of energy that comes off the water, and there's a lot of energy can come in off the Atlantic. <laughs> <There> <laughs> heck of a lot of it, but it's but it's lovely. Every time I look at the house, I see something different. I'm looking up at the eaves there, the carving. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of crazy stuff, all right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we were young. <laughs> no, I mean, it's we, we, we built this house with, with our own hands, like everything. There's four and a half thousand blocks under the ground. And every we know one everyone. Of them. We, <laughs> mixed, we mixed the cement and we, we, we carried every mixer, block we had um, a so many times. Cement. Yeah, we just didn't do it with the short. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Fathers of Mary agus Marty at Hoigal and Tea, Honishad and Mahan simply gan yektrachus a rinishad hain sagai, Honishad vacha agus rinishad a gun la hain. Lady and Tahin Belksha a barsant of the rumsa, Tashad Blossos the love of the Akub er gach el rud. We've often said actually it's the single project that brought us together more than anything else we've done because you're really working together on a common goal from the time you wake up in the morning or even before that, because you're dreaming about it, to the time you go to bed at night and you do something and you see the results day after day and it's moving towards a goal and it's changing and evolving but it's also yeah. creating the vision that you've had is coming to, to reality. Mm. And we sat here for so long imagining where a window would be and how you would catch the light there and what trees it would look at there. And then to finally see that coming together is very And exciting. it was easier to very, do very that exciting. ourselves because to explain it yeah. to somebody else would be very hard. They wouldn't have seen it the way we'd have seen it and it wouldn't have grown the same way. Yeah. And we wouldn't have picked up the same yeah. things as we go along. And there's a lot of evolution. Like We had a very bad storm and my favourite tree on the, on the property was blown out of the ground. 
and, and thrown over. It wasn't just knocked wet. over, it was literally picked up and, and thrown over. And I mourned for it, and I thought, oh, that's terrible. What and we then I suddenly home. thought, well, this is an opportunity. <laughs> so it became the stairs down into the living room. Um, we brought it home, <laughs> we brought it inside, couldn't leave it out there. Yeah. And that's why you, you do it yourself. You, you work with the materials you're given and you kind of experiment and you allow it to evolve a little bit and to develop. And, and yeah. you had moved to Japan when mm -hmm. you were just out of college. That's right, yeah, pretty and much. And like the interior of the house is so, the minute you come in the front door, you can see the sky on the other side of the house. Mm -hmm. I presume that was part yeah. of the plan and part of the design that you brought yeah. that, those principles back with you. Yeah, for sure. Because in Japan, very much like they have a thing called an engawa, so you, it's a way you can almost be inside but live outside at the same time. Okay. So you're in that transition place. I mean, obviously it's a bit easier in Japan because of the climate, but we tried our best to, to incorporate that aspect. Mm. There shouldn't yeah. be such a strong boundary between the inside and the outside of the house. This is the best room in the house where this we are right, right now. <laughs> this is the best room in the house. Yeah. This is the, the, the main room of the house. All the rest is only here to serve that, really. Right. Uh, but uh, So that idea of looking out and, and seeing where you are and being aware of where you are and seeing all the changes in nature. And Japanese architecture as well is very, um, like a bedroom can be transformed into a living room in a moment because the doors move and you can make one room into uh, two rooms and we try to incorporate that as well so things could open or they could close because in winter it's nice to close in and in summer you can open it up. There are three main principles, in, as I understand it anyway, in, in Japanese architecture. One is, Oabi is about sort of simplicity, keeping things functional but beautiful. Another one is Sabi, which is very complex, but a lot of it is about using older stuff. So it's not about keeping everything pristine, new and perfect. That jars with the human soul, it jars with, with where, what we know to be real. So it, it, it's very nice to incorporate aged or deteriorated things and let things go a little bit and shapes that are more naturalistic. And the third thing is my, which is space. So an empty space can often be more expressive than an object. And it's something that we hope we've managed to do a little bit in the house, that there's this space which then leads your eye again to the outside and leads you to where you are rather than, you know, yeah, that's the table, that's a lovely table, but where's that table, what's the context? And yeah. It puts you in your own context as well, your yeah. own context within, within a place, within nature, and within the geography of where you are. Mary, <laughs>